thing is he was a band that I was in for, well, 13 years. And uh, we were very successful. I thank everybody for for making us successful. And I'm very proud of the fact that I was in Thin Lizzy. Until the next time. Bye-bye. Welcome to our first guest uh, on Saturday Live, Philip Lynott. <laughs> nice to see you. Thanks for coming in. And congratulations. I think it's your birthday today, yeah? Yeah. I won't ask you how much, how old you are. But, uh, 21 again. 21 again. <laughs> we also must say good evening to Phil Lynott. Hey, Lynn. Welcome to the round table and everybody together now. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Phil Lynott. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. So Right, okay. Uh, do you want to say anything? Do you want to say happy birthday to anybody? <laughs> Everybody else has. It's nobody's birthday. It is. It's <laughs> Bill Lynott's birthday. That was a hint. Everybody will come and see us play live. He still hasn't said happy birthday to you, Phil. <laughs> a happy birthday, Phil. It's <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. been a great time. Definitely I remember that as a magic moment for a long, long time. Quite a big audience there, I gather. Yeah, it was the largest that's been in Ireland. Really? Yeah. How many? Well, somewhere between 15 and 20,000, you know. Excellent for Ireland. Brilliant. And I can't remember it was your birthday as well. It was the day before, you know, we had a great party. And then we played the concert the next day. And all the crowd saying happy birthday to me at the end of the concert was fantastic. In the music world, Phil Lynott was a popular man and generous to his fellow musicians. He'd worked with Phil Collins, Mitch Ure, Huey Lewis, Roger Chapman, amongst dozens of others. He was able to spot talent in other performers and encourage them. Thin Lizzy had broken up in 1983 and since then Phil formed Grand Slam and in the past few months he'd been recording with and producing the band Auto de Fe and also rockabilly performer Colbert Hamilton. In his 35 years Phil had performed all over the world. Thin Lizzy were particularly popular in Australia where they would play to 20,000 people at a time and they also enjoyed success in America especially with this song also one of their biggest hits and it captures the excitement and flair that Phil Lynott and Thin Lizzy could produce. Thank you, Phil, for the good times. We shall miss you.